The mouth of the sky kisses the lips of the earth. We are productive. We point. We gather. We crouch. The air rustles through the long grass and the black patches of paint creep through the skin of the planet. Are they anxious? Are they worried? Should we be worried? Is she worried that she makes this thing, this work of art, this endless plane, this flatness, this exhausting search for danger? You can see the things they have left behind. The basket is old. The space is old. The people who live here are even older. Outside of the window is the lie of light. It is the fog of disembodiment. It is the gray inner coat of vital organs. And we are trapped inside trying to stay alive. Sooner or later, we will do the work, the ancient work, the work that she has left for us. We will find work in the browns and the tans and the bruised blues of the implements that she has left for us. We will do the work. We will do the work. We will do the work. Once we could escape, once people did, once they traveled from one end of the earth to the other, and then back, and then back, and back, and back and forth, until travel was no longer possible, until escape was just someone's memory. Someone who no longer exists. So we stare at the Hulk. We stare at the Leviathan. We stare at the monster like a dead whale on the edge of the ocean. And we see its black, tarnished blood streaming from underneath it like a shadow or gunpowder. Because this is a weapon, also. This is something that could have killed. It might have killed. It still could. We sit on the edge of winter and we cry and we howl and we mew. We wait for a winter to run away and possibly crush us under the weight of the cockpit or the cabin. Thank you.